Good afternoon and welcome to a spontaneous podcast with I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hi, friends of the podcast. Hi, everybody. Happy birthday, Sam. Thanks, Lisa. Happy birthday to oh, you. God. Happy birthday to you. <gasps> Happy birthday. Not saying dear because that seems weird. Happy birthday, old Sam. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Are you going to tell everybody how old I am or did you already explain that to people? No, I'm going to tell people. Okay. Friends of the podcast, just so you know, Samantha, just so you know, in case you weren't sure, you are 17,897 days old. <laughs> Thanks for breaking it down, Lisa. Yeah, I can even go further. You were born 429,528. I don't even know how to say the number. It's so big. 429,528,000 hours ago. Okay. Isn't that crazy? I'm going to take your word for that. Well, do the math. <laughs> do the do math. Do the math. Lisa. I wasn't sleeping last night. No, apparently not. Apparently I was excited about your birthday. <laughs> I was excited about my best friend's birthday. Oh, okay. So I got up and just did some fun facts. Uh -huh. So, And just so you know, you are officially 263 days older than I am. So all this BS no, that you go you, around talking about saying, I'm older. Meh, meh, meh. You are older. I'm not older. Yes, you are. Prove it. You were a very big one-year-old. <laughs> Well, you know what? I, I, I had, I was also very big in grade eight too, you know. I know, because you're actually a year older. I'm not a year older. Yes, you are. I am not. And this is not about me. This is about no. you. Right? But really, everything kind of circles back to you, doesn't it, Lisa? Well, in the perfect world. <laughs> in the perfect world. <laughs> in the perfect world, I like things to be full circle back to me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. But Samantha, we're here because it's your birthday. Yes. And it's a beautiful day. Yes. To celebrate all things Sam. But you know who the, who was the very first person to wish me a happy birthday? Who? My mama. Well, that's her job. And my papa. Right? Because she's remembering back. Yeah. I was an easy birth, so I was okay. Were you? Yeah. Yeah. It was the other two that weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, imagine that. And I'm sure you've been getting birthday wishes all day long. Yes, it's been lovely. And Aldo, I will be purchasing a something for 20% off very soon. There you go. Thank you, Aldo. Is that for your? <laughs> is that for the month? Yeah, because I, I gave Aldo and Old Navy my birthday so oh. I could get like a special percentage off. So, so I enjoy that in the month of October. Wow. Hey. Well, show me the money. I guess so. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to show them the money, but I'm going to get some money off but of it. But that's kind of funny because you always say I'm cheap. I don't just go around willy-nilly giving out my birthday to get a cheap deal. I do. Yeah, that makes you cheap. Really? You cheap. You cheap. No, you're cheap. No. Because she paid for breakfast, and I was very surprised. I paid for <laughs> breakfast because it's your birthday. <laughs> However, the real reason I paid for breakfast is because your birthday gift's late. Yes, it is. And I thought, how bad would that be if I had nothing nothing to, to present you with on did, said birthday? It was a lovely birthday card. It was a good one. Yes. Do you want to tell the friends of the podcast what it said? Something about sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, you don't smell old yet. Yeah, see? That's you, nice. You don't. <laughs> you don't. What does old smell like, Lisa? I'll let you know in, probably next year when you get there. Shut up. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. Ow. You wonder why I don't want to celebrate my birthday. Samantha, your whole time that I've known you, you haven't wanted to celebrate your birthday. No, I don't. Right? It's just a day, Lisa. But it's a special day. Oh, but you know who did wish me a happy birthday? Who? Your husband. My husband did wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> He did, because he because he's that guy. He's nice and thoughtful. Oh, and the hype girl. And the hype girl. I got a lovely little gift from the hype girl. Yes. And she wrote on the back of your card. She wrote, she wrote on the back of of, of the card. <laughs> that was her own card. <laughs> yeah, that was her own card. Yeah. That's our hype girl. She's like our number one fan. She's very she's very like excited. She's very pro. I shake my head with yes, this and Sam. Very much. Which so. is awesome. Yeah. And there's a donut right there waiting for you. That's not mine. That's yours. You can have it. You it made me be, go and get it. It could be your birthday donut. I don't need a birthday donut. I just made you go get it so you wouldn't think I was just going in to get it for you. You did not it's go get you. anything. Ta-da! <laughs> it's your birthday donuts. It's chocolate with a little bit of no, ma maple no, or caramel. No, no, no. Yep. No. That's yours. Okay. It's in a bag. True story. Okay. <laughs> when we... <laughs> we're like... Because we were going to do the spontaneous podcast. She's like... Like she's dry, like there's something caught in her throat, okay, and I'm like, like so is, is that the sign that you want me to get out of the car and go? That's not what you something? said. You're not telling a true story. <laughs> yes, I no, here's the reenactment, friends of That's the podcast. The, that is not. This is the reenactment. She's gonna lie. No, this is what happened. Gonna lie. I did this <clears throat> like that because I was a little dry and a little parched. And Sam says to me, "Did you want me to go in and get a water for you?" Because <laughs> we drive past. <laughs> As we drive past a grocery store that has water in it. <laughs> so when so here's the thing, friends of the podcast. Yeah. When somebody says, Do you want me to go in and get a water for you? 
Yes, I do. <laughs> that would be great. That was your <coughs> subtle hint. Well, to go, Sam, you're going to go fetch all of the things <laughs> while I sit in the car playing with my phone. Checking out Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what that meant. But it was just a well placed. Eh, that's all. Yes, it was, it was just well placed. It was lovely. Yes, and thank you. But <laughs> why should things change on my birthday? Nothing changes, right? In my heart, it's your special day. <laughs> the wrong heart. No, in my in, in my overflowing in the heart. Overflow heart. In my extra heart that is overflowing with like friendship and and all things wonderful. It's your special <sighs> day. In my mind, mm -hmm. it's it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, <laughs> and I'm out with Sam. <laughs> Right? Oh my god. This leopard can't change her spots. Uh, absolutely not. No. 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 But it's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. Right? It's like no snow. Thank God. Thank God. Knock on wood. I know. It's like so... It's like today is like the perfect fall day. It is. It's lovely. It's kind of warm. Sun's out. Yeah. Fall. Blue sky. The leaves are falling. Still get to use a fan. Mm-hmm. All right. It's a good thing because my father didn't put on my winter tires. Well, good thing Before he took off to go see my sister. Good thing there's no snow. And I hope my sister, who may possibly listen to this podcast, you better be thankful I gave up my parents for Thanksgiving and my birthday. Yes. <laughs> and apparently you gave up socks, too. I know. I'm you know saying. I'm anti-sock until I see snow. Well, when the tops of your feet get so cold, you're going to be wishing that you had a sock. I'm fine. I'm just saying. I don't care. I'm just saying. What, else, care. You got, what else you got planned today? A nap. Yeah. Because I'm old. Because you old. And then it's funny because then you get mad at me for saying you old. You know what I got planned for today? What? A little baseball. Oh. Uh-huh. You watching? Do I have to break up the fake fan? Well, I don't need the fake fan right now because my team's not in it. No, because they done. They done. They done. <laughs> like the Thanksgiving turkey. Done. Done. Right? Yeah. Put they, a fork in them. Put a... <laughs> Those Blue Jays had a fork put in them. In... So long ago. In early May, the fork was put in. You could not turn that frown upside down. You could not turn that. I don't want to, We're not here to Is talk about that. Is that how you that. got the crevice I mean, underneath your chin? That's, got my, that's how you that's got That's how I got my new wrinkle. Because of my frown. Because 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 for the podcast, I'm obsessed oh, now with this new line going across the bottom of my chin. And it's like a pout line. Right? It's like, remember when you were a kid, your mom would say, you know what? Birdie's going to come poop on your lip. That's what I have. I have that pout line right below oh, my lip. Because I was like, hmm. Yeah, maybe you should start using some wrinkle cream. Well, guess what? In honor of your birthday, I did buy some some simply ageless. Uh, Why foundation. in honor of my birthday? Well, because you you're old. as old as me. I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm 263 days younger. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Oh my gosh. Check the math. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so so I bought this simply simply ageless because uh -huh. I think Ellen looks good and she promotes it. Um, she has professional makeup people. Oh. Really? You do not. I do not. <laughs> and guess what? I, I'm, I'm not loving it. Why, Lisa? I don't know. I don't get it because it's Cause different. It didn't turn your crevice. Because my crevice is still there. Because it didn't. It didn't disguise it. No. Yeah. No. That's too bad. And I'm not all makeupy, right? So I just basic. I wear a little bit, but I'm not like you, right? Makeup I'm not like you. I'm not all makeupy, <laughs> so I don't know the ins and outs of the makeup, <sighs> right? So I just thought simply ageless sounds like. Something at my age, I'm starting to look forward to. Uh huh. And I haven't not two days in a row and not happy. With it, it doesn't. It doesn't get rid of it, Lisa. But doesn't it hide it? No. Can't you it it's away? A, it's a crevice. Yeah. And by the way, it's the size of the Grand Canyon. Nice. <laughs> nice. It's going to just simply the the foundation will sit in it. Well, what what makes it better? Botox. No, Botox no. will make it better. <laughs> here's here's the okay, case. Friends of the podcast, here's my concern, right? So I have three other sisters, and and then there's myself. So there's four girls, and we come from a family of wrinkles. So my grandmother, rest rest in rest in peace, nanny. <laughs> she was wrinkly, mm -hmm. like she wrinkled. I've seen the pictures. Yeah, right. Her mom wrinkled. My mom was okay, but but the wrinkles are but they're out there, hey. They are. So one of one of us have to have that gene. Well, somebody's going to get them. Yeah, but I'm, I don't want it to be me. <laughs> right? In the perfect world, I want it to be the little sister. Okay, then start using the wrinkle cream. Well, what's the wrinkle cream do? Because that would stop the wrinkles. It kind of keeps your face plumped and stops the wrinkles. But I have a fat face, from... so it's kind of plump already. Why am I wrinkling? Yeah, but you still got little crevices, though. Yeah, I know. Right? As do you. I see them. Uh -huh. Right here, right? Going down there. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Mine are from laughing. 
<laughs> You're just from frowning. Just my just my one from my bottom lip is from frowning because of my blue jays. Your blue jays. Because I never noticed it last days. season when they made the playoffs. I really just well, noticed it this year. Well, because they were doing better last they year. They were doing better last year. <laughs> but no, now I'm just gonna watch playoff baseball. All right. And I'm just cheering for all. I'm just cheering for some good games. All right. Who's playing? Okay, so there's Cleveland, uh-huh. the Yankees, uh-huh. Houston one, uh, and then there's the other division. I don't really know as much about. Really? Yeah, but I, I just watch you knew everything. Lisa. Well, I just watch. I'm a fan, so I just watch. I just appreciate the sport. <laughs> Good for you. What about you? 49th year sports? No. Still no sports. No. Anything you're going to do different this year? No. Nothing. No. Just keep on trucking. Yeah. Woo woo. Keep on going. <laughs> that was if I was in a transport truck driving <laughs> and I'm pulling the horn. <laughs> woo woo. Or or like a train conductor, maybe more of that. <laughs> woo woo. Like that. Yeah. You know what I think is really funny? What? Is that I got. Uh, over Thanksgiving, because I was at my brother's house, yes. the his kids each made me a birthday card. Nice. And Keegan, God bless him, he, happy birthday, Auntie Sammy, you're 49. <laughs> like, I would forget. It's a boy after my own heart right there. Right? That's a good was, boy. Yeah, I'm looking at him like, thanks for the thanks yeah. for reminding me. Who even knows if he can even count that high, but he... He's 13. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just or saying. 14. Right? 14. Just saying, 49, like, that's like a lot of counting. Yeah. You suck. I don't suck. You suck. I almost bought you a birthday card, Smith, and what it had is it had a hole in it, and it said, we should probably start wishing, you should probably start blowing out your birthday candles outside from now on. But I didn't think you'd find that very nice. I do not find that funny. No, so I didn't get that. No, do you see the face? I see the face. And the middle finger. <laughs> Dirty face, middle finger. Dirty face, middle finger. I see finger. it. I see it all. I see it all. Oh. I know. Go I'm figure. I'm just saying. I'm just, no, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. It's, been a, it's been a pretty good day so far, Lisa. Yeah, and that mostly because you've been spending it with me. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> we're celebrating all things Samantha. Really? Yeah. What else is that? Here's a few things. Here's a few of my favorite things about Samantha. Her 5 a.m. ponytail oh. when it's not 5 a.m. and it's just her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Love that about Samantha, right? It's not going away, Lisa. <laughs> it's here to stay. <laughs> here to stay. Okay, I just, you know, I'm just enjoying the progression of it. Right? That's all. Right? Uh, I see you're sporting a new birthday lipstick. I am. Happy birthday, lips. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I'm going a little bolder for the fall. Are you? Yes. Wow. Looks good. Looks good. Thank eyebrows you. are looking good. Our eyebrows are on point. Only thing missing? Did you schedule yourself for a massage? No, I did not. No rubbing. Sorry. Shut up! <laughs> you make it sound so bad. It's not. What do they Other do? Other people go to a massage yeah. therapist. And I think only when you, you have think, aches and pains yeah. and you've sprained something or your back hurts. But I think only you and think you, that it's bad. And, are you going for a rub? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Is that about? not what they do? They rub you down. They massage up the, the kinks and Bye. the hurts. Bye. Shut up. Rubbing. Shut up. And needing. I need you to shut up right now. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> I need you to shut up. I don't think it's dirty. I don't think it's dirty. No. No. But you make it sound like it might be. You take it that way. Because you do this with food. You, take, you do this with food. You take it that Has way. Has anyone listened to the talk about the pulled pork? I'm just not about <laughs> pulling my chicken and jerking my pork. That's all. Just saying, right? Jerk chicken pulled pork. And being rubbed down by a stranger. <laughs> but that's just my... <laughs> But that's just me. That's oh just me. God. It's a billion dollar industry. Oh. I'm sure I'm missing out on the rub. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. I just, this old girl has too many aches and pains to even start that process. Right? I'm just Well, saying. they can't put Humpty Dumpty back together they again. They can't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Right? Picture and the egg and tiny little yeah. legs. Right? <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> Sorry, I just pictured it and got a really... I made myself really... <laughs> Friends of the podcast. I'm sorry. You see what I put up with? She. Oh my no, I'm not. I'm not. It's her birthday. I'm biting my tongue right now. Oh, I'm biting my tongue funny. and I'm locking it up. Oh, stop it. I get whatever. I am a Humpty Dumpty esque type of frame, Samantha. That is my. Right? Some people are pear shaped. Some people are shaped like an apple. I'm shaped a little bit like Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. There's no fruit. There's no fruit. I just have like the little stick legs and a, and a midsection. <laughs> and my okay. legs are so skinny one day I'm just going to be a body 
I'm gonna be, you know what I'm gonna be? I'm gonna be a weeble. Weebles wobble, no, but they, they don't, don't fall, fall down. down. That's yeah. gonna be me soon. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, Samantha, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you, Lisa. I'm sure the friends of the podcast are wishing you a happy birthday. I hope so. Right? Don't be mean. I don't want to hear that. Oh, there's enough of that going around in the world. Yeah, you. Yeah, me. <laughs> And you got some coming to you. All right, friends of the podcast, just so you know, we will be doing our, our, our usual episode on Friday. Yes. Stay tuned. Lots of fun stuff coming up in that. Woot woot. Happy birthday, Samantha. Thanks, Lisa. Always a pleasure. <laughs> it should be. Mm.